It smells so good and I am so hungry. As you guys could see, I used the wood stove last night. It was so warm and toasty. I closed the door on the wood stove and then I went up into the loft to go to bed. And it was just really nice to have the warmth up in that loft. When I woke up this morning around 5.30, it was raining and it was cool because the fire had gone out, but it wasn't that cold, so I was fine. Tonight it should be around 40 degrees, so I'm definitely gonna need the wood stove again. This cabin is really nice, actually. The only thing that I don't love about it is there's a road right here. So it does take a little bit away from that in the wild cabin in the woods feel but other than that it's fantastic For me, this is pretty much the perfect way to bring in fall. The sound of the rain falling is so relaxing. Even if it rains all day, I'm not gonna be upset just because this is like very, very relaxing. Very chill, everything that I'm about. Now, why did I forget to empty the baking grease out? These eggs are gonna be so greasy. Whatever, YOLO. I had to make a car payment. <laughs> there is no service in this cabin and barely any outside. So I decided I'm gonna head over to Burlington today. Burlington sounds nice. I can get lunch there. I can check out Lake Champlain and check out the city or town. I don't know, is it a town or a city? The last time I was in Burlington was probably 15 years ago. So it's been a while. Excited to check it out.
I'm about to follow this trail towards the side of the cabin. It looks like it kind of goes up this little mountain behind me. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. Mm. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. So serene and calm. Lots of leaves are falling. It is feeling like fall. The trail that I was following seems a little bit overgrown. I can't really get a sense of which way it goes. So I think I'm gonna head back. It's nice to be out here, it really is. So there's a lot of shrooms out here and I'm really tempted to try one. I don't wanna die though. Does that mean that it's edible if a slug is eating it? The problem is that there's hardly any service out here and my mushroom identifier app isn't working. So not sure that I wanna take the gamble. Feel like that's how all these cabin in the woods horror movies start. Joint, music, Pinot Grigio. I haven't been smoking joints, so I'm excited to just give it a little go. On the way up, I stopped at the dispensary. Really nice dispensary, nice people. Not too expensive at all. I'm actually in a good place right now. I feel really light and free. I feel like things are like shifting in a good way. I don't know if y'all feel that way. I probably shouldn't get too excited because I think it's still like mercury retrograde or something. I try not to get too into that stuff. It's fun, but I like to take it with a grain of salt. I was having a really rough start to September and I just powered through it like we all do. And the past week, the past two weeks have been really good. Hopefully we can keep it going. Let's keep it going. As someone who's lived in Miami and has had warmth all year round and has also lived in Maine, I definitely prefer the seasons. It's really nice to appreciate the beauty and admire the changing directions of life. It helps kind of define time and give meaning to time. I'm getting a little philosophery on y'all. It's the weed. Just gonna enjoy the rest of this afternoon. Get that wood stove burning tonight. Probably not even that long from now because it's a little chilly out here. Super glad that I came up here. I think I might come back here in the winter when there's snow. I know it would be absolutely beautiful then too. It has been an awesome trip. Can't wait to do something like this again. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.